Merci, blah, blah, Pepe Le Pew. Unfortunately, this is where we must part ways, but you were great while you lasted. Thank you very much for serving us here in France. But we found a bigger, better truck than you for the zombie apocalypse, and this is where we must part ways. Goodbye. Thanks for everything. Appreciate it. So, hi. Welcome back to Unturned. We're picking up right where we left off here at the Contentin Arsenal, which is right over there. And we have uh, we had found this awesome cargo truck. And I have named old cargo truck here Escargo. Because Escargo is French for snail. And he's like a big giant snail because he's slow. And he's got this big shell in the back that we can use as our little house. We can go right in here and live inside like a snail. So what do you think? It's pretty good, right? Escargo. Get it? Cargo truck. French. Snail. Anyway. Um, which means we're going to have to leave a little ambulance behind. It is very sad. But Pepe Le Pew definitely... Did a good job for a little while. And check out my decoration here in front. We have a bunch of raw meat. We have our mutton, our turkey, and some uh, raw beef <laughs> on plaques. And we can put one more plaque in here. I love how they actually kind of lock in together, right? It's very, very nice. We have to find something special to put right in the center of Escargo's face. And this guy is just enormous. I love him. Oh, by the way, I made a, uh, made a GPS with that GPS we had found. That's a mod. So that's one way to get around. Oops, turn those lights off. Um, yeah, so we'll be able to get around that way with our GPS in the da on the dashboard. We have all this space back here. I've transferred everything over to the crates inside. And you can see here that I have all the racks set up with our weapons and tools that we have discovered so far. Camping equipment, etc. And we have a ladder on the side here. We can climb right up. Because he's so dang tall. Oh, we got some water. Yeah, it did rain while I was getting this all set up. Um, and we have two planters now with a whole bunch of fruits and vegetation. So we should be good to go. All right. So anyway, we have a lot to do today. Enough admiring our new truck here. Let's go. Uh, we need to go to that island right over there where there is a crash plane. You can't see it from here, but we did a flyby in the last episode, that's Guernsey Island, and we have to go recover a smartphone for Jack, who's back at the safe zone. He wants us to go recover it for him, and we'll get 10 experience and plus 15 reputation, and that should open up some new uh, new gear, maybe, at the safe zone. We actually have several um, quests to, re to turn in, don't we? Did We called Orly International, we did the lost signal thing, yeah, we got the Claire's pocket radio, so we have to return that. And we have to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Maybe we can do that today. I don't know. Anyway, so let's um, yeah, let's get to that island. Unfortunately, we can't drive Escargo across. He's a land snail, and he doesn't like the water. <laughs> and we can't land the plane there because there's no runway. So we're going to have to swim across or use a boat. And we did actually see a jet ski on an island over here. Maybe we can swim across and grab that jet ski. So I have a battery and I have some gasoline. We could do that. Although I'm very curious about that boat yard right there. There might be a boat there, right? Hop in old, uh, old Peppy Lippy. We're going to take Peppy for one last ride, Peppy. This is worthy of the emergency lights. Let's do it. Our final ride with Peppy Lippy. Whoa, easy Peppy. I'm sorry, but Escargo is awesome. He's an upgrade. If you really loved us, you let us go. <laughs> oh, he's out of control. I can't control him. All right, so hold on. Yeah, kill those lights. Uh, yeah, there it is. See it right there? Yes, that's what we want right there. So I'm going to have to steal your battery. That'll put him to sleep. Good night, Pepe Le Pew. I don't want to blow him up because he does have gas. <laughs> he has gas. <laughs> I don't want to blow him up because he does have gas. It's something you don't hear too often. Um, yeah, we're going to swim across. How's our swimming, anyway? I don't think it's very good. Uh, yeah. It's at, it's at zero. We haven't put any points into into diving. So, this could take a while. Horatia! <sighs> I win! <laughs> Alright, climb aboard! <laughs> it looks like it has gas and a battery. I didn't even check. Hold on a sec. Let's just get a little closer to the shore. I'm gonna check out this boat. I don't think we can drive that boat, can we? I don't know. It looks like it... Is it drivable? Nah, it's just decoration. Hold on, bring up that HUD again so I can see what the heck's going on here. It's just decoration. That's too bad because that looks really slick. All right, let's see what we got here. We have some gas. We have a battery. That's good. 
Oh, no, what are you? Put the gas in. That's what I meant to do. And why don't we just fix this thing up so we don't have any troubles on the way over. Sharks or piranha, whatever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, this thing works underwater. Cool. So now, why don't we just go check out this island right quick before we move on. I see somebody. Hello? Sir? Is that a sir? What is that? Oh, it's just a rock <laughs> with metal on it. It looked like a guy's back. Didn't it? Well, it did to me. Sorry. You know what? Let's preserve ammo. We don't have much ammo to begin with right now, so we need to be conservative here. And I see a flamer over there. We're going to have to shoot that guy. Hi, buddy. What's going on over here? It looks like you have some kind of little satellite dish. What you dropping? What you dropping? Oh, Cobra site. Oh, this is like a, uh, it's like a ranger site. Oh, it is. Black balaclava. Yeah, put that on. Yeah, we don't need the airpiece, do we? No, we definitely don't need an airpiece. <laughs> Look at the balaclava. Sweet. It is a ranger site. Oh, this is very exciting. Good to know. Bam. <laughs> So maybe we get like an AK-47 or something. I see gasoline, by the way. I see gasoline. This is fantastic. So we can fill up. Hi, buddy. Over here, sir. Oh, I like that. Oh, katana. Yeah, not a great weapon, but sure is fun. And where's that blue bandana? That's the old Gang Z style bandana. He's not going to give it up, is he? Dang it. Still wearing it. Can't take it off his face. <gasps> is that a Luger? It's a Luger. It is a Luger. I forget what they call it in this game, but that's what it's supposed to be. Black Thief Top! Oh, are you kidding me? These are amazing! Look at all that space! Sweet! Oh, I'm so glad we came here. I wasn't going to, because it didn't seem like there was going to be anything important here. But, oh yeah. Oh, I'm super excited now. Let's put that balaclava back on. There's a... Oh, an ugly green bandana! And there's that Luger, baby. Oh, yes. Chambered and Luger ammunition. All right, well, we'll take it. We got a, oh, and that's a nice katana right there. 100%. We really only need one, so we shall scrap this one and get plenty of metals. Now, that's the color balaclava we need. That's the old Gang Z uh, OPB color, right? Yes, the overpowered punk busters. <laughs> but I think black is still more fitting, so we'll just salvage that. Check that gasoline. We'll grab some. We really need a, a, a regular gas can, like a real jerry can. I'm so tired of using these uh, wooden gas cans. They don't hold anything, and uh, it's just like you have to run it back, running, run back and forth constantly. Butterfly knife is actually a really good weapon. Oh yes, another Luger, a Luger mag. So that's going to give us the two, and we can just stab this guy. Whoa, man, he turned around quick. Butterfly knife really is the best melee weapon. Just jam him in the head. What is that? Extended master key barrel. Are you kidding me? Ooh, that's real sweet. Real sweet. Now if we could only find a master key, maybe we can extend the barrel. I get everything here. I don't want to miss anything. Never can tell. And we are going to shoot this guy over here. Because he might have something decent on him. Oh boy, I done did it. This is this guy over here. We can take him out with a knife. I, I hear... Sounds like I, I hear another zombie. But I guess that was just that guy. Alright, let's go shoot this feller. Get one shot to the head. I did make a uh, makeshift um, scope, <laughs> by the way. And that's what we're talking about. Ranger ammo. So glad we shot that dude. Yeah, because I think we can put ranger ammo in... Oh, we can't put ranger ammo in... I thought the Viper used, um, used ranger ammo, but I guess I'm wrong. What is this berry right here? Those are good ones. Amber! Uh, I'm not sure about the amber. I gotta look those up. I know the rusted are not good, but amber might be okay. I mean, we could experiment if you want. <laughs> And if we experiment, we should do it right here on the island so we don't harm anybody or make fools of ourselves. But then again, if we need emergency supplies, uh, we don't have any on us. They're over on S Cargo. So maybe we shouldn't bother. We'll wait till we get on shore. What is that right there? What is that right there? It's a flag on a rock. Oh, that's a dead zone. Yeah, right there. That's the Flaminville Power. We're going to have to go there eventually. Obviously, we need the proper gear. Can't just walk in there all um, half cocked or willy nilly, like, you know what I'm saying? All right, I think we are done here. Ooh, more amber. 
I'm very, very tempted. Oh, these are russet and these are amber. Okay, we got two different kinds here. All right, let's get back to the jet ski and get over to the other island. Uh, Guernsey Island and fetch Jack's smartphone. But let me just get organized right quick here. Look at all that space this thief top gives you. It's amazing. Okay, just about ready to go. But I wanted to try this uh, refined amber berry. I took those two berries and I refined them. So, uh, in fact, here, why don't, you, why don't you go first? Go. Come on, take it. Take it. All right, fine. You chicken. I got it. I got it. Oh, mm. Mm. Oh, it's delicious, and I feel I feel fine. I think. Hold on, let's check. <laughs> yeah, no uh, weird effects. Oh, by the way, um, I was not using the butterfly knife. Here it is, right here. Um, how do I look at it? Yeah, there we go. And it has our kill counter on it, and it's a beautiful skin too. Look at that thing. Nice effect on that. Changes colors. Very very cool. And we have 273 kills so far. We're gonna rack up some more. Okay. So, we are ready to rock and roll. Let's move out. we got to get to the Guernsey Island, which isn't too far. And I filled up our jet ski here. Got all the gas we need. I really should have brought a jack. Because uh, the way I drive these things, I tend to beach them. <laughs> We're just going to have to be careful. All right. Uh, spin it around. Do not get beached. And jump. 77 gas left. Awesome. All right. Let's crawl up on the beach like a ninja. Now that we have our ninja outfit. Is there anybody even here? Pretty sure when we did our flyby, we saw some dudes. Some duct tape. Oh, good. No, there's no zombies here. And there's no radiation or toxicity or anything like that. Nothing nasty. Let's find that smartphone. I don't see it. There's binoculars. Hold on. Let's check the details of this quest again. Uh, it doesn't really say. It's somewhere in the rubble. All right, well, let's check all the rubble. We should probably check the luggage. Oop, stab it. There we go. There we go. Lots of binoculars here. Everybody, it must have been like a, a group of sightseers, bird watchers. That crashed. Now, let's climb up here and have a look. Oh, wait, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? It's a smartphone. So small. Look at that thing. It's a little iPhone. A little iPhone 4. Just like my old one. <laughs> all right, we got it. We got it. So now the only quest we have to do left is the uh, Hungry Guard quest. We need to make a grilled cheese. And, oh, you know what? I had two pieces of bread, but I think I dropped them when I did the transfer. I'm like, I don't need this bread. And I had cheese, too. We could have made a grilled cheese. Dang it. That's okay. We'll find, we'll find a baguette anyway. It'll be stale, most likely. And uh, we'll just have to tear it down into slices of bread. All right, let's just have a look around here, see if there's anything awesome. How about a cave or something? That would be pretty cool. There's a lot of metal. Huh. Cave underwater, maybe? This seems like a strange place for an island, that's all. <laughs> Who would put an island here? That's what I want to know. All right, how are we doing for daylight? The uh, sun is actually going down. Oh, these are the good ones. These are the mauve, right? Mauve. Mauve are the fantastic berries. The best berries ever. Yeah. All right, we can eat this right now. Whew. Okay. All better. I mean, I love those berries. They have natural healing properties, but boy, do they go right through you, if you know what I mean. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's get out of here. I think we're done on this island. So let's get back to the old jet ski. Up on the back. I'm driving and I'm thinking... I'm thinking before we head back, let's go over to the shipyard over here and see what's cooking. Maybe we can find uh, a baguette. Maybe there's a kitchen in this big ship or in the shipyard itself. I need to find a baguette. If it's the last thing we do here in France. We're going to get one. And if we find one and it's stale, we can turn it into slices of bread and make a grilled cheese. So it's like a win-win, right? Let's pull up over here on the beach and we'll turn it in the direction we need to go when we're done. Back to Escargo. It's too bad Escargo doesn't like the water. Oh, don't you go onto the beach. There we go. All right, how are we doing for kills now? 273, same. Haven't killed anyone in a few minutes. <laughs> Let's go rectify that. 
And we're just going to save on ammo again because ammo is very important. And I want to save it for the, uh, save it for that dead zone when we decide to go over there. Oh, yeah, the butterfly knife is so fast. <gasps> cargo truck, another cargo truck. Another cargo truck. This is a white one. Ew. White. That's going to get so dirty. <laughs> I love it though. I do love these cargo trucks so much. But we're gonna wreck this one and hopefully we can get like a helicopter or a water plane spawned in somewhere. Maybe at the airport. Because uh, we don't need another S cargo. Our S cargo is better. I like purple. Purple's way better. Alright, let's take out the security guards. Hey, security! Over here! Come on, fellas. Whoa! Ooh! Got was snuck up behind. Alright, you get rid of that fool. Ah, whoa! Oh man, I almost got stuck in that fence. <laughs> Alright. Doing fine. Doing fine here. Um, how are we doing for food, by the way? We have a tomato. Right, let's go ahead and eat that tomato. Sun's going down. We gotta move fast. I really, really want a headlamp. So badly. Because this map is so dim. And uh, I need to brighten it up a little bit. Drives me crazy that it's so dark. All right, let's go check the office. You guys have a baguette. I just need a baguette before I head home. Wherever. No baguette. Oh! Wow, that dude got a little punch in, didn't he? Well, let's go check the medical tent. You guys have any bandages? A zombie bit me. <laughs> All right, this place is pretty big. Oh, painkillers would do, actually. Let's take those painkillers. Heal us up a little bit. There we go. Actually, quite a bit, huh? It's very nice. It's fast, too. They're faster than bandages. Okay, well, we get the bandages anyway. Suture kit. Those are so big. They're not really worth carrying, but we'll bring it just in case. Let's go to the office. This place is bigger than I had expected. It's going to take a while to get through it all. Especially with all these containers. Construction helmet. Uh, we don't need rope, do we? I don't think so. So maybe we'll just go right to the ship. Oh, look at all the gas! Ooh, alright, I will, um, we'll fill up the jet ski before we leave. Nails could be good. Are all these containers? Oh my gosh, look at all these containers over here. Can we open all these containers up? Oh, wow. Yes, we can. All right, let's get to the ship before it gets dark. Don't really have a reliable means of seeing in the dark. <coughs> we have a little flashlight, but that's no fun to use. All right, take this dot down, and... Ooh, putrefaction tablets. Beautiful. Grab the nails. Look at all that gas. Lovely, lovely gas. <laughs> it's not something you hear all the time, either. Come on over here, buddy. There we go. Under the ship we go. There's gotta be a galley on this ship, right? That's where they keep the food. I'm gonna get that baguette. Gonna get me a baguette! Alright. Run out of time. It's starting to get dark. I hear a lot of zombies in here. Oh, hi! Oh! Here's a galley! I found the galley! Wait a minute. Somebody heard us. Oh, jeez. Ooh. Is that him? No. Somebody inside or is invisible? I can't see him. I can't see him. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Okay, it's a little guy. Got him. Little guy. How are we doing for kills? Oh, you gotta show off, don't you? You gotta flip it around like that. 292. When we get to 300, we shall celebrate. And hopefully we'll have a baguette to celebrate with. Oh, come on. Come on, it's France! What's that? Eggs? <laughs> I can get eggs in Russia, Ireland, uh, Washington. Come on. Where's the stinking baguette? Oh, man. We're gonna have to go on a baguette quest. I can see it already. Anybody have a baguette in their bed? No. Parka. Alright, let's check the uh, driving area. <laughs> Whatever they call it. Got some rope, radio, and what's in here? Ooh, a 1911. Don't really want it. Is that everything? Check the dashboard. Yeah, I think that's everything. There is a ladder up to the roof, though. We might as well go up there. Oh, look at that. A ladder leading down to the water. Up we go. Just in time before it gets super dark. Oh, look at this. Oh, OJ. It's good OJ, too. Yum, yum, yum. And a can soda. Great. We need all the drinkables we can get. 
Someone's been sunning themselves up here. <laughs> Probably the captain. The only one that can get away with that kind of stuff. All right, now we go. Feet on the ground. Feet on the ground, and let's go. Although, hold on, there's another office over here. Lots more zombies. We're not going to find a baguette inside a contain shipping container, you think? Probably not. But, I mean, I'm having a lot of trouble seeing right now. Oh, wait a second, though. I see a lot of shells here. What is that right there? A sledgehammer? What'd you drop? Can. I'll take the can. All right, we're going to go with the flashlight now. It's getting a little dark. And we have this massive warehouse to search. How much space do we have left? Holy smokes. I'm going to drop the suture kit. Repair that knife. Uh, let's eat the chips. Oh! Oh! Uh, full moon! Right, I forgot about that here. Okay, put the light away. Bring out the butter knife. The butter knife. <laughs> Butterfly knife. <laughs> Oh boy, yes, we have um, a full moon out right now. This is when we, this is when the zombies want to get romantic with us. So I think it's time to get out of dodge, and I might want to grab that suit you get now. All right, I think it's time just to run it out. I can't see anything. Oh, what's this crowbar? I don't need a crowbar. Yeah, I think uh, I think it's time to go. Yeah, it's time to go. Let's get out of here. And I am going to hop in this thing and hopefully they tear it to shreds. You guys want to tear it to shreds? Bring it over here. Bang it into the wall and then climb up top if I can. Can I get up there? I think so. Oh no! Ah! No, don't, 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 do not get stuck. Ooh, that guy sounded tough. Sounds like a big guy. You hear that? All right, we're on top of it. All right, chew it up. Blow this thing up. I'll help. Come on, guys. Oh, here they go. They're, okay, they're chewing it. They're chewing it now. Here they go. Watch for the flames. And go. Go. Run it out. Kaboom. Yeah, get wrecked. I think it killed him. Oh, poor cargo truck. I mean, I do like the cargo truck, but oh, we already have one. So we don't really need two. Wham! <laughs> Alright. Let's pick up all the goodies. You guys drop. A little bit of metal. Pickaxe. Nothing special. Alright, well, I think we're done here. I'm gonna head back to uh to the jet ski. And well actually I'm gonna get some gas, right? We're gonna fill up the jet ski. Yeah, let's fill up the jet ski. And go back and get some more gas. So we'll have uh some gas to siphon out. Yeah, um, I'm going to do that off camera because we are done here. This episode is long enough. So hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. We shall turn in these quests. We have all of them but one met so far. And we'll try to um, try to make that grilled cheese in the next episode. Then we'll head down to the safe zone and turn them in and see if there's any new guns to buy down there. That would be pretty sweet. So, all right, we're done for now. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. I'm going to sneak my way in with my new thief outfit and go grab some gasoline. Dun dun dun. dun ch -ch 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 -ch.